Hi everybody and welcome to the Helen Winder Show. Today we will be covering the last and final part of our four part series masterclass with Kat Holden covering recognizing your inner powerhouse and today it's all about gratitude and bringing more luck into your life. Hi Kat, thank you so much for being with me once again. Um, do you want to take it from here and tell us what we're going to learn today? I would love to. Thank you, Helen. So yes, step four, bringing more luck into your life. But before I go down that route, let me just very quickly recap so we're going back through all the steps so you know exactly what you're doing. Step one, again, is back to your core values. If you don't start with that, then um, you're never going to find real happiness. You have to know what makes you tick. So make sure you've got your core values written down and stuck somewhere you can see them every day. Step two, your morning pages and do your, your writing of the three A4 pages the moment you wake up. And this allows you to clear out the noise and chaos that runs around your head and allows you to start your day focused and connected to your heart space. Step three, taking yourself out on play dates. The whole point, to refuel your energy. It will build your confidence and you will start to remember that fun, energetic, charismatic you again. And now here is that final step that will show you how to recognize your inner powerhouse. I sincerely hope the previous masterclasses have been inspiring for you and that you started implementing some small strategies into your life. And even if you've only used one and that's helped you to catch a glimpse of that powerful person you know yourself to be, then I'm happy. And Helen's going to be happy too. And I'm guessing you're happy. And at the end of the day, that's what it's all about, right? Absolutely. That's certainly what it's all about. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So would you like to bring more luck into your life? We've all heard that what you focus on brings more of the same to you, right? Mm -hmm. Well, I have to admit, when I first heard about this next step, I was a little skeptical at first because although I do trust my own intuition and, and my gut instinct, my brain does still need a little logic for me to be able to believe in something. And this step doesn't really have any logic to it at all. But what I do know is that it works. Because when I started using it, I had the most profound changes in my life because of the results it brought. What am I talking about? Gratitude. So how do we bring more luck into our lives? Well, it can be different for everyone. Some write a list of, their, of what they're grateful for in a journal. Maybe the same as their morning pages. And they write what's happened over the day they feel grateful for. Personally, I don't have time to do I really don't have time to do that. So as I crawl into bed at the end of the day, I take that time to reflect back over my day and run through my head what I'm thankful and grateful for. And when I've finished, I say to myself, thank you, thank you, thank you. There are so many things that I'm grateful for that I mention every single day. My health, my clients, my loved ones. The list goes on a little bit, but some things get a mention every day. And what this gratitude practice will do is it attracts more great things towards you. What you focus on, you get more back, right? So by doing this, you're focusing on everything you're thankful for and you'll automatically bring more of the same to you. People who don't know me that well tell me how often how lucky they think I am. The people that do know me well understand how I bring such good people, opportunities, and adventures to me. Whatever you believe in, and this, this is key, really, that higher power that you believe in, whether you call that, that higher power God, or the universe, or your inner self, or Hugh Jackman, it really doesn't matter, but just take a moment every day to be grateful and thankful. And the key to this step, and all the steps really, is to create a ritual in your life so you practice this daily, and I'll tell you why. When I first started practicing gratitude, I'd just moved to Australia and you know one. It was quite tough. I was homesick, lonely, lost. And I knew I needed to meet like-minded friends. So what I started to do? Practice gratitude every night. And I really got into the feelings of how much fun I would be having out and about with these people, the support they'd give me, the feeling of belonging. And less than 10 days later, I'd met a great group of friends 
fellow entrepreneurs with a sense of fun, adventure, as well as drive, ambition to create great change in the world. And I've found my community. And I'm convinced that one of the key reasons this happened was because I consciously practiced gratitude. Yes, I also put myself out there. I took action every day to create this. But I do believe it was that gratitude that brought them to me so quickly. And that's it. Step four is all about being grateful for what you have in your life. If this will attract more of the same to you in abundance and you'll start feeling like the luckiest person alive. And you know what, I, I think I don't think we spend enough time. Yes, we can be thankful for, for things, but do we actually say it to ourselves? I don't think we do. I don't think we think we have time or, or maybe we don't consciously think of it. I think it's I think it's the conscious yeah it, it, it's a conscious stream of gratitude that, that that's uh, that's key mm. and to feel that gratitude as well get get into get into those feelings so even so the example I gave was when I when I was in Australia so even though I didn't have those friends yet I would just pretend so I would just tap into you know this is how it's going to feel when when I have my community back around me. This is how I'm going to feel. And so I would just get into that every night, just get into that feeling and thank you so much. Thank you for these, you know, thank you for these great friends and this community and the support and the drive and the ambition. Just thank you, know, thank you, thank you, thank you. Amazing. I think it's really important because it, we have we're very good as as, uh, as beings to to sort of to say this didn't happen, this didn't happen, that didn't work and they did this, they did that and and actually, that's not doing us any good. That's not doing us any good. All that is doing it is is uh, bringing more of the same to yeah. us. So ab absolutely, some it is a it's a conscious decision that we have to make. We consciously have to stop ourselves when we start spiraling, and we have to say, okay, this is what I'm grateful for. I am grateful for even if it's I am grateful for the dustbin men who come and take my rubbish away every week. Do you know what I mean? Even if you have to start there. I am, you know, I am grateful for my central heating. I am grateful for my warm, cozy coat. <laughs> <laughs> it just, it might just teeny tiny little things like that that you have to start. But, yeah. but really, that's, you know, start where you are. Yeah. And um, and and it will grow. Yeah. I can, I can assure you. Yeah. Fantastic. I think uh, we're going to see some huge changes and what we would really love is for our listeners to let us know how they're getting on. Um, so on the Masterclasses page on my website on www.thehelenwindershow.com, there's a form. Please do fill it in if you've got any questions or if you've noticed any changes. Um, or you just want to say thank you, it doesn't matter, please do let us know, and I know Kat and, and myself, we, we would love to hear from you. Well, absolutely, and the other thing about these four steps is um, you have to do them regularly and consistently um, for them to, to really create the most value in, in your life, so um, I start my day with my morning pages every day. Every night as I fall into bed, I run through my head everything I'm grateful for that happened that day and I say thank you. Every week I take myself somewhere all on my own for that play date and I kick up my heels somewhere and refuel my energy. And it's these steps that have made such a profound difference in my life. And, um, and of course, we, we both sincerely hope they are making a change in, in your life too. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Now, just to remind everybody about your workshop. Oh, yes. Thank you for that. Yes, please, don't forget, if this kind of information that's making a difference with you and you're starting to recognize your inner powerhouse, then please come along to my workshop. Spend the day with like-minded people to connect, inspire, and learn in much greater depth how to step up and recognize that, that powerhouse that's inside of you. And um, I really look forward to seeing you there. Go check it out, uh, catholden.com forward slash road to your inner zing and um, reserve your seat. Yeah, and I really do look forward to meeting you there. Fantastic. Well, listen, Kat, thank you so much for taking us through these 
very special and powerful parts of this uh, masterclass to uh, recognizing our inner powerhouse. Um, I love that title. Um, and um, I do hope that our listeners have, have really enjoyed the masterclass and we'll be back very soon with another one for you. Thank you everybody and thank you Kat. You can find out more on my website www.thehelenwindershow.com. I'll speak to you all very soon. Bye for now.